Ladies and gentlemen, as we made clear, this channel will from this point forward be utilized solely to update the members of our organizations regarding their particular SAT packs. The first thing we need to let you know, is if you're considering applying for an application for arbitration, there has been a problem with the application will because the website was hacked. It should not surprise you or anyone that a website that is in direct competition with the attorney ran American Arbitration Association was hacked and that no one could access any of the files on that website. The American Arbitration Association has sent out that its attorneys to try to cause as many problems for this independent federal arbitration organization known as Sitcom Arbitration Association. The one thing that has been attempted to be stated is that the contract templates are not valid. So long as implied consent contracts exist, and so long as individuals' actions and our conduct is construed and are presumed to amount to consent, the contract templates cannot be held invalid. So long as the parties are notified, have knowledge of the agreement, or given an opportunity to opt out of the agreement, that the contract has an arbitration clause, a commerce clause, is between parties that are competent to enter into agreements. Even a minor infant can enter into a contract and that contract is said to be binding upon that individual. And that they have an expiration date, the contracts are valid and binding upon the parties according to their terms. We are giving you the update that the links to the site have been corrected and are being corrected. Please note that if you have an arbitration agreement, and you seek to have that arbitration agreement confirmed. A witness is what the arbitrator becomes respecting the agreement. A third party so to speak, the arbitrator notifies the parties of their 30-day time period to pay the debt. If the opposing party s do not provide compensation within the 30 days, you have the right under the administrative process created by the Internal Revenue Service and the IRC to consider the debt worthless and or uncollectible. You now take this documentation and place it in an outline, documenting how many times you have repeatedly attempted to communicate with the party. Documenting each time notice and or service was made upon that party. Documenting the contract number for which the parties entered into the agreement. It is your choice if you want to include the original contractual agreement whether alleged and or claimed to exist. Personally. I would say that the very fact that you did the conditional acceptance of their offer is you implying that there was a prior agreement. For the conditional acceptance does not work without a prior agreement, please keep this in mind, which would add more evidence and or documentation to your administrative process. Order in advance your copies of the 1099-Cs from the Internal Revenue Services website, remembering that you must utilize their forms. You cannot download this form from the Internet, however. You can download the B copy portion of the form and fill it out in advance prior to receiving the official forms from the IRS. Because the B copy portion of the form you will send to the debtor does not need to be on the official form, but you must keep a copy of the information placed on that form, so that when you get the original copy from the IRS you can indicate and put in the information. The tax credits are immediate, these are federal tax credits, and what people are not understanding, is that tax credits are dollars, and because they are dollars, they are considered a coin in our currency of the United States. You can find this in the Golden Arbogation Act commonly referred to by the people under its ebonic name, HJR 192. Because they are a coin and or currency of the United States, they can be used in the fashion of a dollar for a dollar discharge. However, this channel will no longer be providing that information to individuals as to how to accomplish certain tasks. You will have to go to the http colon slash slash www.een.tv channel after March 15, 2022 to receive such information. Links, you might be interested in. If you are interested in having an arbitration award that was previously issued and the opposing party failed to comply, you can ask an independent arbitrator for a sanction hearing that will be held de novo, meaning based on the documentational claim. And all party s will be notified of the decision. Visit the following site for an update of the process. Http colon slash slash www.a1sales.org slash the files regarding arbitration and its validity respecting private civilians. Do yourself in favor. Look at the word civilian. Thank you Miss T for your contribution. Stop calling yourself a citizen. Look at the definition for citizen. A citizen is a subject, a slave someone who must capitulate, this is the official status change. Type these links into your browser for access to these files.
until we can, thank you for your understanding in advance. HTTPS slash slash saalimited.com slash pdfs slash bradleek.stark slash HTTPS slash slash saalimited.com slash pdfs slash the contract slash HTTPS slash slash saalimited.com slash pdfs slash arbitration study slash the interference with our websites is designed to make us look unprofessional, it is a tactic that we have seen repeatedly over the past 12 years, not just the interference with the website, but that of the lawsuits being brought by the AAA American Arbitration Association, where we are never ever given any opportunity to do anything of any value. Every motion is stricken from the record, every request denied. It is the system, and so we are just going to keep doing what we do. You put enough pressure on any system and eventually it's got to give.